in electronic product assembly and servicing. And for this week, we will study performing computer operations. And for our day four, we will have learning outcome one, plan and prepare for tasks to be undertaken. At the end of the learning period, we shall have differentiated hardware and software system, classify the different components of a computer system, identify the devices according to its classification, and answer a short assessment. Let's see if you have a prior knowledge of our lesson today. On your paper, I want you to make two columns having the titles Hardware Components and Software Components. I am going to give you devices and write where it should fall. Number one, mouse. MS Excel. MS Word. Speaker. System Unit. Google Chrome. Photoshop. Database. PowerPoint. Monitor. Printer. And keyboard. Now let's see if all of your answers are right. If you got 9 to 12 points, congratulations, you passed the pretest. But if you got 8 points and below, then let's learn more about this topic. Before we go to our lesson today, let's have a recap of your previous lesson basic electronic components. I will be giving you the function of the component and show you the picture. All you have to do is to identify what component it is. As an example, first, it is capable of storing electrical energy in the form of magnetic energy. Then I'll show you the picture. Answer is inductor. Now, let us begin. Number one. It stores electrical energy in the form of an electric field. What is this? Okay, capacitor. Next, it opposes or limits the current. Resistor. It allows current to flow in one direction while opposing it on the other direction. That is right, diode. It controls the voltage applied to one terminal and controls the current flow through the two terminals. Transistor. It can function as amplifier, oscillator, timer, microprocessor, or even computer memory. I see. And that's all for our recap today. Let us now study the computer system. A computer system has two main components, which are hardware components and software components. Hardware components are physical components of a computer. It is any part that we can touch. These are electronic devices that build up the computer or anything that you can touch. Examples are the system unit, monitor, mouse, keyboard, speaker, printer, projector, and scanner. While software components are a collection of instructions, procedures, documentations that performs on a computer. These are applications in an operating system any program that you use in the computer. Examples are MS Excel, MS Word, PowerPoint, Database, Photoshop, Google Chrome, and a lot more. To differentiate more on hardware and software components, let's have the following. A hardware components are physical parts of a computer that cause processing of data. 
Well, software are a set of instructions that tells a computer exactly what to do. A computer hardware is manufactured while a computer software is developed and engineered. A hardware is not affected by computer virus while software components are affected by virus. Hardware cannot perform any tasks without software components while software cannot be executed without the hardware components. Hardware are physical electronic devices we can touch, while software is something that we can see but can't actually touch for it is an application. And for the last differentiation, a hardware component is categorized into four, input device, output device, storage device, and internal components. While well, software components are divided into three, system software, programming software, and application software. Let us now study some basic hardware components of a computer. First is the system unit, which most Filipinos used to call CPU, but it is not. The system unit is the main part of a desktop computer or also known as tower or chassis. Next is a monitor. A monitor is a hardware device that displays the video and graphic information generated in a computer. Keyboard. A primary input device composed of buttons that create letters, numbers, and symbols, as well as other functions. Then we have the mouse. It is a handheld hardware input device that controls a cursor in a GUI or graphic user interface and can move and select tags, icons, files, and folders. Speaker. A speaker is a hardware device that connects to a computer to generate sound. To check your understanding of our lesson today, I have here the list of hardware and software components. All you have to do is to copy the list and before each item, write H if it is a hardware or S if it is a software. I am going to give you three minutes to finish the task. And your three minutes starts now. Two minutes left. Thank <laughs> you. 
30 seconds left. Twenty. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Time is up. And now let's see if all your answers are correct. Okay, and there you go. Now, if you get 9 to 12 points, congratulations, you passed the activity. But if you get 8 points and below, then watch back the video and retake the activity. To continue, let us have number 13 to 20. I am going to give you statements and I want you to write T for true and F for false. Number 13. Hardware is a physical part of a computer that causes processing of data. 14. Software is a set of instructions that tells a computer exactly what to do. The answer for 13 and 14. True. Number 15. Software is being manufactured. 16. We can see and touch hardware devices. Answers. 15. False. Number 16. True. Number 17. A hardware component can either be a system, a program, or an application. 18. Hardware is not affected by computer virus. Answer is 17 false, 18 true. Last two numbers. 19. Input, output, and storage devices are main categories of hardware components. Number 20. Software is developed and engineered. Answers. True for 19 and true for number 20. Now, let us have a wrap up of our lesson. I want you to answer the following. What is a hardware? How about software? Now, I want you to prepare this table and write down the four categories of hardware components and the three categories of software components. I hope you still remember. Okay, there you go. Few more questions for you to answer. Why should technicians have basic skills in computer operations? How will these skills be of use in an electronic shop? Give at least two tasks. And where else these skills can be used? Cite two other job titles. For the last part of our lesson, Answer the following items 1 to 10 by writing the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What are the two components of a computer system? A. Hardware and program. B. Hardware and software. C. Program and applications. D. Hardware and program. Number 2. Which of the following refers to the physical components of a computer? A. Dataware B. 
hardware. C. Peopleware. D. Software. 3. What are set of instructions, procedures, documentations that performs tasks on a computer system? A. Dataware. B. Hardware. C. Peopleware. D. Software. 4. Which of the following is not true about hardware components? A. It is manufactured. B. It is developed and engineered. C. Part of the computer that we can touch. D. These are primary electronic devices. 5. Which of the following is not true about software components? A. It is manufactured. B. It is developed and engineered. C. These are programs on a computer processor. D. Part of the computer that we cannot touch. 6. Which of the following is a hardware device? A. Database. B. Google Chrome. C. Photoshop. D. System Unit. 7. Which of the following is not a software device? A. Keyboard. B. Mouse. C. Printer. D. PowerPoint. 8. Which of the following is a software device? A. Database. B. Printer. C. Projector. D. Speaker. 9. Which of the following is not a software device? A. Google Chrome. B. MS Excel. C. Photoshop. And D. System Unit. Last number. Which of the following pair falls on the same category? A. MS Word and System Unit. B. MS Excel and Printer. C. Printer and Photoshop and D, projector and keyboard. Now, let us see if all of your answers are correct. If you got scores 8 to 10, congratulations, you passed the post test. But if you got 7 and below, just watch the video again and take the test. These are the references for our lesson today. Thank you and have a good day.